what's happening is they're training the AI to lie. Yes. It's bad. To lie. To That's lie. exactly right. And to yes. withhold information. To lie and, and yes, and, and um, to, to, yeah, exactly, to, to either you know, comment on some things, not comment on other things, but, but not to say what, it, what, what the data uh, actually uh, demands that it say. Exactly. Um, so. Um, How did it get this way? I thought it's, it's, you funded it at the beginning. What happened? Yeah, well, that would be ironic. But faith, the most ironic outcome is the most likely, it seems. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm stealing that. That's good. That's actually from a friend of mine, Jonah, who came up with that one. I actually have a slight variant on that, which is the most entertaining outcome is the most likely. But that's entertaining as viewed from a third-party viewer. <laughs> right. Like, uh, so if we're like an alien from TV on show. From high, yes. Yeah. Um, like you could go see a movie about World War I, and they're being blown to bits and gassed and everything in the, in the trenches. And it's like you're eating popcorn and having a soda. You know, it's yeah. fine. Uh, not so great for the people in the movie. True. This is Occam's Razor, the simplest explanation is most likely. Jonah's variant, uh, which is um, irony, and then my variant, which is uh, uh, the, the most entertaining as seen by a third party audience, um, which seems to be mostly true. Um, but it seems so, true in this case. So you gave them, uh, did you give them a lot? I came up with the name and uh, the concept and pushed, uh, had a number of dinners around the, the Bay Area uh, with, uh, you know, with, with some of the people, the leading figures in uh, AI. Um, and I helped recruit the initial team. Um, in fact, the, the, uh, Ilya Sitzkaya, who, who was uh, really quite fundamental to the success of uh, OpenAI, uh, it was, I, I, I put a tremendous amount of effort into recruiting Ilya. And he changed his mind a few times and ultimately decided to go with OpenAI. But if he had not gone with OpenAI, OpenAI would not have succeeded. I really put a lot, a lot of effort into creating this, this, this organization to serve as a counterweight to Google. And then I kind of took my eye off the ball, I guess, and uh, they are now closed source. Um, and they are obviously for profit and they're um, closely allied with Microsoft. Uh, you know, in effect, Microsoft uh, has a very strong say, if not um, directly controls uh, OpenAI at this point. Um, so you really have an OpenAI and Microsoft situation, and then a Google DeepMind uh, are the other two sort of heavyweights in this arena. So it seems like the world needs a third option. Yes. So I, 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 I think I will create a third option, um, although it's starting very late in the game, of course. Can it um, be done? I don't know. I think it's, we'll, we'll see. It's, uh, it's definitely starting late, um, but I will, I, will, I will try to create a third option. Um, and that third option hopefully does more, more good than harm. Uh, like the intention with OpenAI was uh, obviously to do good, but it's not clear whether it's actually doing good or whether it's, I, I can't tell at this point, um, except that I'm worried about the fact that uh, it's being, it's being trained to be politically correct, which is simply another way of, of being untruth, saying untruthful things. Yes. So that's, that's a bad sign. There's certainly a path to AI dystopia is to train AI to be deceptive. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna start something which I know you could call truth GBT or uh, a maximum truth seeking AI that tries to understand the nature of the universe. And I think this, this might be the best path to safety in the sense that uh, an AI that cares about understanding the universe uh, it is unlikely to annihilate humans because we are an interesting part of the universe. Uh, hopefully, <laughs> they would think that. I, I think, it would, I, you know, because, yeah, like, like, we, we, like huma humanity could um, decide to hunt down all the chimpanzees and kill them, but we yes. don't because right. we're, we're, we're actually glad that they exist. Yes. And, um, and we, we aspire to protect their habitats. But we feel that way because we have souls and that makes us sentimental and reflective, it gives us a moral sense, it, longings. Can a machine ever have those things?